are my friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name's Gary McGowan. I'm going to be your host for the next hour or so. And if you are logging on today, hey, cool for you. And you want to learn more about Realm. Realm, as you may or may not know, uh, is taking the place of MLS Stratus or or uh, later this year. And that was announced uh, about a year, probably a year and a half ago. And uh, in December of 2021, Realm was launched to us, the realtors, uh, to start learning it. And that day that it came out, I thought, hey, I'm going to jump in and see what all the fuss is about. And wouldn't you know it, within probably, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, within a couple of hours, I felt confident enough. I won't say a master user or anything like that. Uh, confident enough at least to use it and search up properties and kind of get a feel for it. And I actually put together a video of that same morning. And wouldn't you know it, that video is kind of in, in our little realtor world, a little bit viral in a sense of it's become the go-to video for uh, agents searching on YouTube and how to use Realm. And one thing led to another. And I've been able to speak to many, many, many offices and even different real estate boards about Realm. And uh, in fact, I talked to the Barry Real Estate Board uh, not too long ago, just prior to them uh, voting a yes to join the Toronto Real Estate Board. So that was pretty cool. And here's the one the one feedback that they kept saying when they were watching me go through it. And we're, we're going to go dive into the system uh, shortly. Uh, when can we get access to it? So if we have other realtors from other boards uh dying to get access to it, well, we should ask ourselves the question, then what are we doing? Uh, we should dive into it and learn all about it. And a little bit about me and, and my background and and uh, how how I got to where I am today. I've been licensed for uh, almost 11 years now, uh, been with one brokerage, that's with KW. And during that time, I've had the opportunity to do many, many different things, uh, wear different hats, if you will, and uh, and have had some really cool opportunities and doors open for me. I've been able to you know, uh, manage my own location, launch my own team. And, and then from that, I was actually manager of 10 different offices and led our brokerage uh, that way for a few years and now I find myself as a director of business development uh, for KW and here's what I know when when speaking with top agents and and that those roles have, have put me in and rubbed shoulders alongside of top top agents right across Canada and even in the United States and hosting uh, webinars and panels and speaking on stage uh, this is what it's taught me those top producers, those top producers that have an amazing business, whether it's doing, you know, 30, 40, 100 or 2000 transactions a year. Uh, here's what I know. And here's what talking to them has taught me learning from them uh, has taught me is and, and you might say, well, it's it's their grit that sets them apart. You might say it's the determination or the willing to you know, the, the willingness to never take no for an answer, all of that kind of thing. But when you kind of peel the onion away and you ask yourself, what sets them apart? Why are they, why are they so, um, you, why does their business grow year after year? Uh, and even during times like this, when the market kind of has been going sideways or it definitely retracted on Toronto, uh, in the Toronto area for us with the number of transactions, yet they still have a business in which they're very proud of and in which that they can still build upon. And here's what I've learned. Here is what I've learned. They are quick. All the top producers are quick to be early adopters. And that tells me a few things. If we've got this opportunity to be an early adopter and get ahead of the curve with Realm, let's do it. Because if I know one thing, I want to I want to act, whether I want to be a top producer and sell hundreds and hundreds of units or not, or I, I want to get ahead of the curve. I want to get ahead of, you know, that one agent or that team or whatever that's always getting those listings ahead of me, whatever that may be, or you want to better serve your clients and provide yourself with more time, learn Realm, become that early adopter. They always have the advantage, whether uh, it's you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, if I could say it correctly, uh, which all realtors are, we all run a business, we all are entrepreneurs. Uh, 
entrepreneurs are always, always early adopters. And, and Realm is going to give us that opportunity, even though it's coming out in just a matter of six months or so uh, this fall, where it's going to be launched fully to the Toronto Real Estate Board, which it is now. What I mean by that is uh, by then, uh, Tr Stratus will take a back seat to Realm. And I want you uh, to feel comfortable and most importantly, confident in using the system. And that's what we're going to do today. It does many, many things for me and for the realtors that I've already had the pleasure of teaching this to. And, and what I love the most and foremost is the speed in which the system or the platform operates. And we're going to see that today. Uh, we're, what I also love about it is everything that I do in the system it learns my style. So you're going to see my home screen and I bet you my home screen is going to look different from your home screen. And you might ask yourself, Gar, why is this happening? Why do we need a new system? The platform that we're currently on works fine. And I agree with you. It works fine, but it only works fine, right? Do you hear what I'm saying? It only works fine. You know, there's, I'm going to use this analogy. I've used it a couple of times and it's landed really good. Who could tell me what this is? And I should mention that if you want to um, write some comments, I know the platform perhaps won't let you, but if you just click on that link, it'll take you right into YouTube and you can post some comments in there and I'll, I'll see if I can follow them along. But but this right here, this was and, was and still is the iPhone 4, which at its time was probably the best technical device ever to be launched the iphone 4 and i had it and, and in fact i loved it it was probably the best tech device i'd ever ever owned it was amazing and in 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 the right context stay with me here it changed the way we do business would you agree with that it absolutely changed the way we do business right if, and, and it was so lightning fast and the programmers, designers did everything they possibly could to keep updating it and updating it and to the point where they couldn't update it anymore. And that's why they had to launch this, the iPhone 14 Max Pro. So if it was so good, but they had to upgrade to this, well, that's kind of where we're at with Realm. And that's kind of where we're at with Stratus. Stratus works like the iPhone 4, it works great, but they cannot build it any better or faster or more robust and add, add uh, extra features into it. And that's why the Realm is our new iPhone 14, if you will. That's the big difference, right? We need, we need the, the, the extra capacity so we can better serve our clients. So the system, because we keep asking for more and more things as realtors on Treb Stratus and they just can't provide that to us in that environment. If they move to, and and they have, when we when we look at Realm and see the things that it does, like give us more time, give us more data, in fact, uh, you will feel very appreciative of what Realm is offering, especially after we go through it today. As I said, it's incredibly fast. All the information, uh, I can pull up a list and I get all that information on one page. Right? I mean, all the information. I mean, the land registry information because Terranet uh, is owns Realm and they also own Geo Warehouse, which a lot of us have become very accustomed to on, on verifying owners' names, perhaps uh, getting the information for lot dimensions and, and some of that other information. Well, wouldn't you know it, that information is all integrated into Realm and it's all on the listing page. And I'm, we're going to look at that. Uh, what else do I love about it? The search features are outstanding. And, and here's what I, I mentioned this the other day to a group of realtors. Realm is amazing once you feel comfortable with it. And there is a learning curve to it. And I'm, we're hopefully today, we're gonna eliminate that learning curve and we're gonna, we're gonna fast forward you and fast track you. And, and so you feel comfortable, but the search criteria, the functions in it, we're gonna look at a number of different ways and how to search properties and how to search for things uh, within the system. Thumbs up from me. Now that I get it, uh, thumbs up from me, and I want you to get it today as well. Uh, what else? Oh, here's the other thing that I love. And and if you've seen my videos in the past, you'll know I love talking about market stats. And a lot of agents shy away from that because, quite frankly, they don't know how to pull the market stats. 
And if that's not you, awesome. If you love the market stats, you're going to love this. If you're, if you're the agent that perhaps doesn't know how to pull market stats, that's okay because today we're going to look at it at a very high level and, and you'll see how easy it is just to educate yourself so you can educate your clients. And that's what, that's what Realm is, is here to do for us, is to help educate our clients, really. And, and uh, that's what I love about it. What else are we going to look at? The, there's another really cool function on here, too, and that's something called Map Layers. And Map Layers is a function that allows us to better research the area. So we can pull up local schools. I, know, I, I don't know about you. But when I'm at a showing and I'm looking at a house and a family and perhaps they have kids or they're, they're soon to have kids and, and one of the parents asks, hey, if we move here, we buy this house, we move into this community, what school would my kids go to? And I don't know about you, but that, quite frankly, that's not the information I retain. I, just, I have a lot of information up here, some of it useless, some of it good. Uh, I don't retain that type of information. I now have that as a map layer within Realm, and I'm going to show you how to use it. The other thing that I really, 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 really love is something called the heat map. And heat maps is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to show us the areas or the communities in which there's more property selling than other communities. And, and if you're like me, uh, you get to talk to a lot of realtors and and realtors that own or own, I should say, have developed farm areas or they're about to develop a farm area and they want to own, uh, they want to become the number one realtor in this little area. Awesome. And I've talked to many realtors, you know, maybe a year has passed or two years has passed. And I asked them, hey, how's the farm area going where you're at? Or how's your farm? How's that? How's the lead gen going for you? And I hear often, more often than not, is it's okay. I just can't get into it. Um, you know, I, I just can't make a presence in that area. And I ask them, I typically ask them one question. Well, what's the turnover rate? How many homes are selling? And they look at me like they've never done this research before. And quite frankly, they haven't. Realm gives us this information at a snap of a button or a snap of this. Uh, I can go now go look at an area that I'm thinking about farming. And if I see that it only has a 2% turnover rate, which means if you, easy math, if you had a hundred properties, only two of them are selling. That doesn't give me a very good chance of becoming an agent that's taking market share in that area. I want an area that's six, seven, even 8%. Uh, I have a much better chance of getting into that market and taking market share. So we're going to look at heat maps. That's a great, that's probably the most overlooked tool uh, within Realm. And it's definitely as, as a business owner, because that's what we are entrepreneurs uh, in doing our research. Uh, and of course, everything that we're going to look at today and everything that I've talked about and more, uh, you can do right here on the app. And if you haven't downloaded the app, uh, download it. It's I, I use an iPhone. Uh, it's it's also on the Google Play Store uh, as as an Android app, and it is, my friends, <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> I absolutely love it because here's what I know: we've all been there before. We've all been, you know, perhaps is into the evening now you put on your favorite show and you're sitting there on the couch and you're just kind of like chill for the day and you're watching your show or you got you got a game on whatever it may be and a client sends you a text hey i'd love to get some info on this property and we've been there and you think oh yeah okay but now you've got to go get your laptop walk out to the car or up up to your office grab the laptop open it up start typing in the information now my friends all i do is pick up my phone. I actually just open the app and because, and, and, uh, um, and, and permitting that the tech side is going to work for us. I'm going to show you the app. Uh, I don't even have to put in my ID number and everything. Cause it's got biometrics on it. I just have to look at it and my face opens up the app. Or if you're on, if you're on Google, it just uses your thumbprint, I believe. Outstanding. And, and I'll show you, you can pull up the, the information, uh, as fast as you can on the desktop version, and you can text them the listing. And we're going to look at that today. It is outstanding. I love it. And I can also tell you, I tested this outside of North America. Some of you that know me know that I love soccer, and I was at the World Cup in Qatar. And I thought, hey, I wonder if the app works here. So I'm halfway around, excuse me, I'm halfway around the world, and I open up my iPhone 
sure enough, look at it. The app logs me in through the biometrics and without any crazy VPNs or anything like that, I'm looking at the data on the Toronto Real Estate Board from halfway around the world. And you might think to yourself, that is amazing. I need that. And you might think to yourself, no, I'm on vacation. I don't need that. Either way, we have access to the information. Lightning fast. It is fantastic. I love it. I love it from that perspective. And and we're going to look at the the app as well as the desktop version. We're just going to spend most of the time in the desktop version. It's bigger. It's easier. It fills the screen a little bit better for us in a learning environment. But just know that you can do exactly everything that I am going to be showing you uh, on the mobile version. And in fact, that is... Um, for, for a lack of a better term, that's that's Realm's kind of mantra, if you will. Everything that we do on the desktop version, it's mobile. And in fact, they'll say it the other way around. It's mobile first and then, and then desktop version because they know that realtors today are mobile. Whether, whether we're in, in Qatar or at a local Starbucks, uh, we're using it and we need the information. And I love it. It's, it's really, really easy to use once... Once you know a couple of things, at least for me, uh, once I figured out a couple of different um, tidbits, if you will, uh, little little realm hacks, uh, then I felt really, really good with it. So there you are, my friends. Uh, we're going to dive into it, and I'm going to share my my screen from from uh, from the desktop version. We're going to look at that, and and we're going to talk about. And I'm going to show you all the things that we really just talked about, and 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 again, if there's anything that comes up, send me send me a message on the comments or after if you're watching this as in the replay, uh, send me a note, and I'm happy to help and and, and cover it again and and so forth. Okay. Here we go. So uh, share my screen and here we are right here. So this is the home screen. And I should mention to you uh, when you're logging in here, let me just go back out of here. Uh, here is the information on how to log directly into Realm. So you don't need to go through the Toronto Real Estate Board uh, login page. You can actually put enter in that address, take a picture of this if you need to, and you can dive right into Realm. And what'll happen is it'll come up uh, It'll, let me see if I can just show you here, and I won't do it just at this moment, but all you need to do is, here we have it here, I'll share this one more time. That looks like uh, any user would log into this, whether you are your, uh, a client or a realtor just like us, and all I need to do is start typing in my TREB ID and you can see that it now changes uh, asking for your PIN number, which we all know your four digit pin number and then your authenticator password. And you just enter that right into there. So that's as easy as that. And we're going to, we're going to shift into uh, the system right now. So here's my system. I've, I'm already logged in and this is my homepage and this homepage, as I mentioned right off the top, looks a lot different than your homepage. So uh, moving from left to right, and we'll go through how to navigate around the homepage. So you feel comfortable with it. Moving left to right, and just like on most other websites, uh, the logo right here, Realm, if you hit that logo, it'll always bring you back to the homepage. We can also do that again if you move your eyes all the way over to the uh, right-hand side. If you hit this home button, it'll bring you back to the homepage here. And as I go through this, you'll know and you'll learn that there's more than one way to do the same task. So you might see a way today and you thought to yourself, hey, I do it a little bit different. That's okay. Uh, most of the way, obviously the ways I'm going to show you today is my personal preference, but there is multiple ways to do uh, d the same task. Okay, so moving left to right after the realm uh, and sticking along the top, there's a, there's a couple of search functions or features within our system. And this first search bar right at the very top, I'm going to use that if I know the MLS number. So when your client sends you an MLS number, that's where I'm going to put that. And you'll see as I start typing in here, uh, it will start to um, add those listings in right away. As soon as I get enough numbers in here, it'll start populating. Uh, there you can see it. So I didn't even finish the MLS number and it starts putting in all of those numbers. And then if you were to just click uh, that listing, if that's the one that you want, it would take you directly to that. So we'll we'll look at that in just a moment because we'll spend some time on the listing 
Because where we look for our information uh, is different than what you're going to be used to. And once I kind of point your eyes to the right spots of the information that you're looking for, uh, you'll become much more confident with the with the platform as well. And moving uh, left to right, there, there's the other search function. It'll take you right into the search pages. Of course, if we had saved, uh, as I do, some saved searches. Uh, which we'll look at in a moment. I would click that. That would take us to that. Uh, a lot of this is going to be self-explanatory. Uh, if I have contacts or if I want to enter a contact, I would click on this. And the system does allow us to store documents uh, right within the platform that we can also share with our clients as well. Um, quite frankly, I don't tend to use that because we have other platforms uh, available to us. And this little... Um, uh, comment bubble or chat bubble, uh, you'll see it has a red mark on it. For me, it may not for you. And that's because perhaps I was sending a message back and forth uh, to a client and they've sent it back to me. So that's just my notification. There's also a bell notification here that you can activate. And of course, we talked about the home button bringing you back to the home page. Now, you might say to yourself, Gary, yeah, where's all the links that I'm used to seeing on Trebstratus? Well, if you click this dice uh, right here, uh, that'll bring up all the links that perhaps you're accustomed to seeing uh, within uh, Stre Treb Stratus. So you can scroll down here and that's all I'm doing. I'm just scrolling down and those are where all of those links are stored and some of which uh, you might be very familiar with because you use them all the time. Well, that's where they are located uh, for us here. And we'll dive back into there uh, shortly because there are some links that we're, I'm going to show you uh, from out of there as well. And then of course, in the top Top right is your uh, account, your profile, and I always suggest going into there first. Uh, just editing your profile, making sure everything's correct, uh, your your contact information, and we won't do that uh, today. A lot of that is kind of self-explanatory, but there are some. Uh, um, pieces on it that you definitely want to get in there and customize for yourself. I always, I always say this, you know, on, on Treb Stratus, we have a lot of customer, we have a lot of emails that are pre-written for us and the same thing for Realm. And I like going in there and just adjusting them a little bit uh, to perhaps how I would speak or type and uh, how my clients expect to hear from me. So definitely go into that and, um, and customize that for your, for yourself. Okay, now staying on this home page, let's look at the left hand side, and you'll see some market stats. And these market stats, which which is really really cool. First of all, it it brings up three areas, and those three areas are typically the areas that I search the most. Which means you might be um, you might be down in Markham or Mississauga or or down in Toronto, wherever it is, and it'll pull up the community that you search the most. It'll take some time for the system to learn your behaviors. Uh, however, that's always really really cool to have that as a snapshot, and you can see the information here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for us so we can see that. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, cool. So uh, you'll see as I hover over here, this gives me uh, the week by week. And uh, this is the number of sales by week of all types of properties in, in New Market uh, for that area. And you can see just below here, currently, uh, currently to the last week, uh, what our average sale price, medium, uh, list to sell ratio, all of that stuff that we're you know, accustomed to seeing, uh, that's all there and really easy to see. There you can see it for Stouffville and Georgina. And I'm just hovering over this and we can actually look uh, in more detail once we get, once we kind of dive into some of the searches that we're going to look at. Okay, zoom back out here and zoom up to the top. And you'll see we have another search feature. And I'll, I'm going to circle back to that uh, in just a few moments. And then these are the recent listings that I've looked at. And if I wanted to look at one, I would just click it. I'll do that in a moment. I tr Trust me on that one. Stay with me. And uh, as I scroll down, here's my recent searches. So I have some searches uh, saved within the system. And they're going to pop up here. And then, of course, I can save list. There's, there's something different between um, we have searches, which are going to pull in properties, and we have lists, which we're going to add a number of homes to. And I use lists for a couple of different things, and maybe you do as well. I use it uh, to help start create some CMAs, or perhaps I'm putting together um, some research for a client. And whether it's a buyer or, of course, the seller side, I'm going to create a, a list of, of properties. So that's a little bit different than searches. Lists are specific properties 
uh, whether they're available or unavailable and searches it can be, it can be, it's going to update in real time, right? So it's a little bit different uh, providing you're looking for new properties, of course. So uh, that that's our saved. And then of course we have the land registry because the system's tied into geo warehouse and I'll show you quickly how to use that as well. And then on the right hand side, as I'm looking down here, that's the, my market areas. So we'd like to keep track on some areas. At least I do like the new listings in new market and Stouffville. And I'm sure you use that function uh, within Treb Stratus and that's where those would pop up. So pretty, hopefully that part of it is self-explanatory. And, uh, and that's our homepage. As, as I said, the homepage uh, is going to look a little bit different than th mine will look a little bit different than yours. However, this, this is the homepage. Okay. I'm going to jump back to this search uh, in just a moment, but I want us to look at a listing because I know that's what a lot, a lot of you have looked at and you've gotten a little bit confused or perhaps even frustrated and that's okay. That's what you're, that's why you're here on where to find certain um, elements of a listing. And if I just click this one right here, 104 Kingston road, that takes me right into the listing. And we're going to look at a couple different things uh, right along the top. Of course, that's they're going to be linked to different segments within this listing page. I only have to look up, excuse me, one page to get all the information that I want. And along the top here, uh, we'll circle back to that in a, in a few moments. But I could obviously hit some of these like this big blue button here. And that's where I'm going to email it or send it to a client and what have you. Now, I know what you're looking for. You're looking for a couple of different things. Obviously, there's the sale price, there's the taxes, and there's our MLS number. So uh, these are in a different location that I know than what you're used to. As I scroll down, of course, that's all self-explanatory, the address and the area and the location that it's kept in. These are the listing agents and the listing brokerage. And as I scroll down, uh, there's the attachments. So we've been used to seeing the attachments uh, at the very top of a listing. Well, here they are just below the images uh, of the listing. And I could click on this and pull up all the listing images that way as well. Um, I won't go through all that. You, you're, you can do that on your own time. Uh, and then here's the links for the property. So the virtual tour, uh, it still gives me that option to view it in, in Stratus for the time being. Of course, if I wanted to write an offer, I now have two options. I can click this uh, web Web Forbes and AuthentiSign, or just below that, I can click Sky Slope, which is new to Treb. I can click on that as well. I could, if I wanted to, go right into Jiro Warehouse from here, which you can just like on Treb Stratus. However, you don't need to specifically because it's going to pull in that information. I'll show you that in just a second. Of course, our, there's our description of the property, our listing information. That's all self-explanatory. Uh, taxes is also listed down here. And, and also here's the seller and the, and the landlord name. And on the opposite side of that, and I know this is what people go looking for, so let's highlight it. Uh, this is where the co-op commission is located. So we've been accustomed to seeing and scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Well, now you just go to the listing information uh, right below the attach the picture's attachments, and you'll see the brokerage uh, co-op commission there. And, of course, uh, legal description is also the other one that we go searching for as well. And then the other one that I always find people go looking for, at least I do, is the possession and occupancy. So you'll find all of that in, in that segment there. Uh, scrolling down, just staying on here, just so we stay with this listing. Uh, there's all our info for, for the property, where it's located and what's included, whether it's got AC and a pool and what have you, how it's heated, that, that, uh, that sort of thing. And now there's a big section for, oops, excuse me. Now there's a big section for land registry and you'll see all that here as well. It also includes the last sale, which is really important. I'm going to show you in one other spot where we can view that, uh, as well. So that's the land registry information, which again is being pulled in by Jira Warehouse. And for some of us, we like pulling this parcel registry, a register, this, some of this extra information. Maybe we need that for something. You'll find that uh, in this segment right here. And this will take you right into Geo Warehouse, obviously. Uh, there's your some of your features and designations, of course, your room sizes. So as you can see, this information, there's more information here. It is spread out and, and uh, you just 
just can't look at it all in one quick uh, view. You've got to scroll through it. That's okay. And here at the very bottom is your broker's remarks. Uh, here's what I like. So I'm just going to scroll right down. Once I go below the map, uh, I can look at a couple of things. So there's the property history. We can see that this property had been leased uh, back in 2018. And also uh, it was listed for sale in 2018. And all I need to do, if, if we have MLS numbers here in this column, all I need to do is click that or any of those MLS numbers, and it'll take me to directly to that listing, which can be very, very um, handy if you're if you're looking up uh, the information or the history of the property. So that's a good one to use. I'm going to go back to that listing. And again, I just clicked on that MLS number. I have the option to show more. So you can see that this property is, they've got, we've got a uh, a lot of information from this property here, which is which is really, really good. Uh, if I scroll back up, I'm, I can click recent sales. So this will pull up uh, in that local area uh, some of the recent sales of, of homes that are similar to that, which is good. So that's TREB and uh, that's from the TREB database getting that information. Okay, scrolling scrolling below that. Uh, here's who the listing is contracted with. And of course it has some of the mortgage information. So if you quickly wanted to figure out what that would look like for a client, uh, you can enter in that info there. It pulls up some similar listings, uh, current listings I should mention, which is cool. And for, for some, we like to know the demographics of the area. Uh, if we're, if we're new to the area and we want to, especially if this is a, a new farm area, we just want to get a better idea of what it is that, um, that, or who lives in that area. So there you go. I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom so you know. And that that's it. So there's all your listing information all on one all on one page. Uh, more information that we've been accustomed to, which is great. And as I scroll back up, uh, at the very top, again, you'll see that the price is on the right-hand side. The, and here's the MLS number. Of course, we've been accustomed to seeing that uh, kind of over on the left-hand side, if you will. And as I scroll down, just to remind you, I should mention uh, the days on market is something that people will also look at. So that's typically found at the very top there. So how do I go back? Well, I can hit the back button right here. I can hit the realm or the home button. That'll go back to the home page. And that takes us, as I said, right back to the home page. Okay, cool. Now that we've seen listings, how do I search for listings? Well, the search criteria, the search function uh, is really, really, really good. If I'm gonna, I can do a couple of things in here. If I just want to search by the map, if you're visual like me, I don't like typing in the search criteria until I have the map located. And all I need to do is hit this search button right in the middle of the screen. And that takes me to the map view. And of course, I have no filters or anything at this moment. So it's going to give me all of all the Toronto Real Estate Board. So if I zoom out, you'll see the properties everywhere in the Toronto Real Estate Board. So let's go back here and I can do a couple of things. I can start adding adding my filters right along in here. But I can also, if I just click in there, I can also start typing in new market and it's gonna bring up new market. You can see it brought up York, it brings up new market and then it brings up uh, the local communities as well. So perhaps I wanna look in the Bristol, London area as well as uh, the Armitage area and I would just hit search and it's gonna pull up all the listings in those two areas, uh, which is helpful. So uh, there's no listings in Armitage at the moment. There you go. Uh, the other thing that I can do is once I have that set, I can click on, uh, first of all, if I wanted to look at unavailable properties, I'm going to hit the for sale and hit obviously unavailable at the moment. If I want to see lease instead of sale, I would uncheck sale and look at lease. So that's how I would do that. Let's go back to sale though. And then you would hit done. Uh, oops. And then uh, perhaps I wanted to change the classification. So I could change it here. Maybe I want to look at uh, condo or commercial, attached or townhouses, uh, or uh, I guess that's the same, uh, detached homes and so forth. So I would change all that in here. Let's just keep that on detached. And now you can see these homes here and I'm just grabbing the map, moving it around with my mouse, just as you would any other map. And, and that's one way to look at it. I can hit the zoom feature right here. And if I zoom out, uh, I can move that around. 
And as you can see on the left, it's got the listings categorized right here. And I do have some other videos on how to change this layout so you can see things a little bit differently. So I have some other videos for that. We won't get into that just yet. Uh, what if I want to look at one of these listings? I simply just click uh, this listing here, or there's that same uh, listing. Let's look at a different one uh, just for the different sake. Uh, let's look at this one up here. So I just click that and I just click on the image. It'll take me right into the list listing and here's all that information. Now, when I do it this way, I want to point out something important. Our MLS number is now at the very top. You might recall seeing it just below the taxes. So that's about the only thing that changes uh, when I look at it uh, through this way here. So uh, again, all that information, it, it hasn't changed. It's all the same. There's our co-op information. Here's our listing contract. It's all the same. And I won't go through all of that again at this moment. So that's that's how I use the search criteria from that perspective. Uh, here's the most important piece here, uh, clear. Because sometimes we start searching for properties. Definitely, if I do it like this, if I unclick uh, Bristol and Armitage and I hit done, it's now pulling up any listing uh, where I have the map uh, pulled to. And of course, we're looking, we're still looking at just detached homes. And if I wanted to clear that, I would obviously just click that. And now that if you look here, the 93 results uh, increased, it was, I believe at 50 something, uh, maybe higher now, then it increased. Of course, I can, I can search by price. So perhaps, and this is all normal, let's just see what's priced at under 1.2 in new market. And again, everything comes up incredibly fast, which is, which is really beneficial, really, really beneficial. Okay. Let's say, let's say that I want to draw a specific area. I don't necessarily have a community my clients are in, but I want to draw an area that my clients are interested in. And instead of adding three or four different communities, I can do it like this. I can draw right on it. I'm going to click this and I'm going to hit that draw pencil here. And I'm just going to click on the map. Yep. I'm going to, here, hang on. Let me try again. I'm going to click on the map and start drawing. That was a terrible, terrible drawing. So let's try that again, clear. And I'm going to do that again, just like this, and bring that in like that. And now I can fine tune some of this. So maybe my clients don't want to live in this area because we know that that's typically uh, investment properties down there. And that might be the area that your clients are interested in. You'll see one property here listed at 4.56. Well, that might be too high, so we're going to bring that. Uh, we're going to bring that down to let's just say one, uh, 1.5 for the area. And now we have a search criteria: detached. Here's our search. We're looking for detached homes listed under 1.5 in this area right here. And I can always fine tune this just by grabbing one of those circles. And now I've got a search criteria for there. Okay, that's great gear. What do I do next? Well, I can hit save as I zoom in. Uh, I can hit save search in the top right hand corner here. And you can see a few things. Uh, we're going to do new market uh, detached. And I can save that for myself, or I can save that for one of my, my clients right here, which is really, really beneficial hit. And as I, before I do that, I, I can tell the system how I, or the client wants to be notified. So I might not want to be notified in real time, but if I do, I would hit push. And that means on the app, I'm going to get a notification in real time to say there's a new listing or there's been a price change in that area. Uh, right now, I have most of the system telling me to never email me because I don't need emails. I want it all in the app. And I would just simply hit save search. Now, I'm saving this for myself, but I could save it for Billy Buyer. And now that's hi highlighted. And... I would just simply hit save search. And now that search is saved for Billy Buyer. And as I said, anytime that that search comes up for him, uh, he's going to get a notification. So that's how I, how I would do that. Now, how do I clear this? I'm going to just back right out of here. And I'm going to show you map layers next because map layers is really, really beneficial. And we talked about that and why they are so beneficial. So let's just zoom out a little bit. 
And if I click on this second from the bottom, the second icon right here, you're gonna see map layers. And what's listed always as default is parcel fabric which is uh, a really fancy name for who owns the property, uh, land registry information, who's on title. So you can see that that's always on by default. And if I want that off, I would just click it. And now that turns off. However, let's just go see what that looks like. So I have it checked. X out of there. Nothing's changed until I zoom right in. And as I get closer, you'll see all the lot dimensions, or sorry, the lot outlines appear on the map, which is absolutely outstanding. And if you're on the mobile app, it can be a little frustrating. So I'm gonna show you how to turn that off in the mobile app. And if I wanted information on this property right here at Queen Street, let's just zoom in a little bit more so you can see it uh, right here on Queen Street, I just click it and it's gonna automatically pull up that information. And if the property has had a recent sale, in fact, this did, so that I'm really lucky there because I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna scroll down here. And as long as it has an MLS listing, uh, we can click on that. So the last time that it sold, it perhaps wasn't on the MLS. And now you can see that it is, or on Treb, I should say. And now if I just click that, uh, there you have it. Now that listing pops up here, which is really good. So really, really easy to look up information, especially if you are, uh, you're walking the area and you're door knocking the area, or you have a client that's interested in a property, you wanna learn a little bit more about a property, you use the map layer and that's the parcel fabric, which is great. Okay, let's turn that off and let's look at schools. Cause as I said, I don't retain this information. So now I have schools highlighted. And let's just zoom out because you'll say, Gary, nothing changed. Well, now you can see that the school, the big blue balloons, those are all schools. And if I look in the top right hand corner of our map here, if I click on that, currently the system is only looking up public schools. I can add Catholic if I wanted to. And the way that that's distinguished is now the blue balloon has a white cross on it and i can really select get really specific here elementary middle or high school let's just keep it where it's at uh if i click on this school up here it's going to draw that catchment area which is let me just move that over which is really really good now you might say to yourself i'm gonna what if i had clients that only wanted looking in there can i save this as a search you actually can't whether you can in the future, I'm not sure, but maybe you, you, you can. At the moment, you can't. So all I would do is actually just grab the, the draw mode here and I would outline this map and then hit save search if I had a client that only wanted to live in this area because they only wanted their, their child or children to go to this public school here or the school that you're looking for. So that's how I, I would do that. If I want to remove that, I just hit this X button. There you have it. And that's how I would change that. I'm gonna turn off the pencil. Now let's look at the next map layer and we can look at a couple of things. The growth yeah, year over year of course, as I click this, uh, the redder the area, the higher the growth. Uh, now you can see in here, of course, we've had some strange growth <laughs> or lack thereof uh, over the last year. And you can see, uh, in this area, if I, I'm not, if I zoom in, it'll just zoom in the map. So you can see minus 1.29. That's been the price. And if I click that, uh, hard to see, but it does give me a number here, I believe, of 18 sales in that in that area. And if I look over here, uh, you'll see that it's now at 2.34. That's actually an increase, which is increase, uh, interesting. And it, we've had 211 sales. So so that's also really really good. So. I can actually click on any any part of that area. I don't have to specifically click on the individual um, balloon where it gives me that that growth. So that's the growth that we've had. So we've had 22 sales in this area. And again, you might say to yourself, Gary, that, that's really beneficial information. Uh, now, how do we look at the turnover? I would just simply click the turnover rate. And so that's the last year and we have areas in here uh the lighter the area the or the more yellow the area the less homes have sold now you, you also have to take into account how many homes are in that area right and that that's also important so if i click on this we're at 3.33 percent so we've had 51 sales 
of of that of the homes in that area. And if I look at some of these areas over here, we've had 10.24, and this is a newer subdivision, so we're going to see more more homes. But it's only 30 sales to however many homes are in there. But this one up here uh, beside Upper Canada Mall, if you're familiar with Newmarket, is at 5.34. So a, a higher volume of sales, a better opportunity for agents to create a farm in there. Although there is more competition with that, so that's good information for me as as an agent uh, learning learning about that. Okay, let's clear this and I'm going to show you and we're going to jump back. Uh, we're just going to turn the map layers off. And we are going to clear all stats or all our search criteria. And I'm going to just zoom out a little bit here. And, and now the listings, everything on my map, we should have, if you look here, 185 listings of freehold. So that, that's obviously excluding commercial and condos. And you said, Gary, this system is really, really great with stats. It is. It's really, really great. So first thing I'm going to look at is the analytics. And the analytics is very similar to what we had been looking at on the homepage. Now you can see here, it's going to bring up all the analytics or all the stats for all of the areas on Treb. However, I don't want that. All I want is new market. We'll just continue to look at new market. So I'm going to go into municipality and I'm going to start typing in new market here. And you can see now it's going to outline new market. Excellent. I close that and I'm going to hit analytics again. And now it's just going to bring up the stats for new market. And I can hit this down arrow here and that'll change the listing total. I have obviously have many, many different options. I like looking at the sales. I want to see how many sales have happened. You can see that change. So currently we're looking at the last six months. I can change that to the last 10 years. It will take a few moments because it's pulling in a tremendous amount of data. But once it's there, see, even before I finished the sentence, uh, it's already there. So there's the number of sales over the last 10 years. And what's really, really cool, I, I like looking at the medium sale price. And that's a good one to look at for the last 10 years. And there you have it, uh, medium price there. Now it's kind of updated and we can see that cycle, that our real estate cycle, right, over the last 10 years. So that's always something interesting to look at. What if you wanted to pull the stats in something even more specific than that? Well, let's do that. Let's, we have the municipality new market. Let's go back to the community of Bristol, London, and let's close this out, hit the analytics again. And now it's going to give us, there's our new market stats. And now here's our Bristol London stats. So if you had a client or you're doing a CMA or you're purchasing in the Bristol London area, that's a great way to pull some uh, some information really, really quickly for for yourself and for your client to be, let's go to the medium sale price uh, for your client to be educated. So I find that really, really, really good. So you can see the average sale price in all of new market is one point, we'll call it 1.2. The medium price is one one six, and you can see the medium price in Bristol, London is slightly below the average price of all of new market, which, which could be beneficial if you're a buyer. Maybe not so if you're the seller. Uh, so that's how I would pull that information. You can do this anywhere. You can actually, uh, here's something really, really cool. You can draw, I won't do it now, but you can draw an outline of perhaps where you wanted and get the market or the analytics that way. Okay, so let's, what's this other button here? Market insights. Well, let's click that and that's going to give us some information as well. And you can see here, right now, we're looking at the last 30 days. Uh, here's our ask to sell ratio. Here's our, our sales to average price. And we're certainly sitting at about 50% of the inventory selling within 30 days. So that's down a little bit. Uh, I can change this too if I want to look at something slightly different. Uh, medium sale price. So that's going to just update for me right there. And it also has mid-month reporting. I can change that. So you may not be... In incredibly confident with stats. However, this gets you on the right track. If you are incredibly confident with stats, uh, I love it. It's all right there. Really, really easy to look at. You can change the filters of what you want to look at, whether it's condos, townhouses, uh, you name it. It's all in there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay.
let's go back here. We've don't, we don't have a lot of time left together and I want to show you the app uh, a little bit. So, because that's what the majority of you are going to be using. And, and I'm going to show you how I can send a listing to a client within the app, which I know a lot of you uh, have been asking about and, um, and a few other things, just how to navigate around the app. Now, as I said, I use an iPhone. So uh, if you're not an iPhone user, I don't know. I apologize. Get on board with the iPhones. I don't, I don't know. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, let's just see. Hopefully this the technology works for me. Uh, for share my... Oh, look at that. Technology at its best. It's working. So uh, you can't see where I'm clicking, so I'm going to describe it as best as I possibly can. This is my homepage on the app as I hold up my phone here. And as I'm just scrolling up, you can see all. it has all the same... Uh, functions and searches that we're looking for, <clears throat> excuse me, that we have from the desktop version. And right along the top, you'll see some of the same uh, icons and certainly some of the same icons along the bottom. If you're anywhere and you want to go back to the home page, click that logo at the top left or the logo, the home button at the bottom right. And you have all the same, if I click that dice, all the same links in here as well. There is sold stats, even more even in more uh, fine tune than what we were just looking at. So I have other videos on that as well. Uh, let's just say I want to pull up uh, a listing that I was previously looking at. I'm just scrolling uh, left to right or right to left, however you're looking at this. There's the listing we had just looked at in New Market. I can just click that, uh, click the address I find is best, and it pulls me right into the listing here. And as I scroll down, it gives me all that same information that we were just previously looking at on the desktop version. So uh, it, it does align it a little bit differently. So I urge you to become familiar with uh, the app, and, and but it does have all the exact same information. There's your land registry information. As I still scroll down and what I want to get to, I'm going to pass all the room dimensions and there's our broker's remarks, which is a big thing that people will tend to look for as well. And of course, it has the uh, recent sales. So you can see the property history as well. And if I just scroll back up, I can hit uh, that recent sales uh, button there. And it gives me all of that, all that same information. And I can just click on one of those. It'll take me right to the um, that listing. Now, if I just tap on the, nope. I take that back. I thought I could tap on the top and it would scroll me all the way back up the top. Uh, if I want to look at the pictures, I just click on that blue icon within the picture itself. And that can be frustrating too at first. And then I'm just scrolling uh, left to right or right to left, depending on how I want to go through it. I hit the X button to get back out of there. And now what if I want to send this uh, to a client? I can do a couple of different things here. This actually gives me more ways to send it on the app than it does on the desktop version. I'm going to click at the very top underneath my, my photo there. I'm going to click that blue arrow, and now I can hit share. And if I hit share, it's going to give me some options here, and I can text this to a number of different people. So I'm going to show you what, that, what a text, if I text it to myself, what that looks like. And I would just click it and... Um, and it, it comes up here. So let me just set that up here and and uh, let's just see what it looks like when I open up my message app. Here we go. Uh, here's what it looks like. Nope, this is what it looks like. So if I, it opens up the, in, the text app right away, drops in the link and you just hit send and the preview window shows up. So if I'm the recipient of this, this is how it appears on my phone. It's a different listing, that's okay. Uh, if I click on that, that listing, it opens it right up into a web page. I don't need to invite my user or sorry, my client to the app because this link is public. And we didn't even talk about that today, but we can invite and we should invite our clients to the app so they have access to it and they'll see all the, the uh, client view of all the listings. And I'm just scrolling down here. So this is the client view of a listing. And and I love it because at the very, this will give me all that same information minus the brokerage uh, view. So it won't have recent sales. It won't have obviously the homeowner and, and all that broker information that uh, we, have age, we as agents have access to. Here's what I want everyone to notice. And here's what I love. Here's what I really, really love. You'll see right at the very top hand of the page, you'll see it's branded to me. 
I absolutely love that. Kudos to Treb and to Realm for making that a major priority on this app. And that is a big, big function. So I can do that the same. If I was sending multiple listings uh, to a client in, in the same link, which we do all the time, you can do that really easily uh, within the app or the desktop version. It's still going to be branded to you as the agent that sent them the listing. Thumbs up to that. I know everyone's really excited about that. Good stuff. Okay, so if I go back to the uh, app here, let me show you the search feature because for me, that was a little frustrating off the top, but once I figured out what to do with it, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as they say, right? Bottom left-hand corner, you'll see uh, right under the saved lists as I have at the moment, but I can scroll that, you'll see the search or the magnifying glass. I'm going to click that and it'll bring me into the search. Now this is searching all of Toronto Real Estate Board at this moment, but if I wanted to search the map, you'll see I have the map option right at the middle of the, bo the, the bottom of the screen, you'll see map and I just click that and now it brings me to the map and I just take my fingers and I do the pinch and zoom and I can zoom in anywhere I like. So we'll stick within that new market area. And again, notice how fast this is. This is a live webinar, right? Notice how fast that is to moving and bringing in the listings. And if I wanted to click on that listing, I just simply click on the purchase or the asking price, click on the address of the property and that listing pops right up. Now, let me back out of there, hit the X to close that listing. Now, what if I zoom in like this? It brings up that parcel of, the parcel of fabric view, and here's where I got frustrated, and I hope that you don't from now on because here's how you fix it. Because what I might do, I might be moving the map around, and I might click on something by mistake, but what I clicked on was, in fact, the parcel fabric, so it's pulling in that information at this moment. Of course, that's one can't be found. Uh, Let's try this now. There. there you go. Uh, and I didn't need that. I didn't want that information. That's just because I'm moving my finger around the map and looking for properties and it pulled up this information. And I didn't want that. So all here's how you turn that off. Now, my friends, you do need to turn it off every time. However, it's the workaround. So I'm going to click on the left-hand side of the map. I'm going to click on map layers and I'm going to just uncheck parcel fabric. And now as I zoom right in, all of those lot lines have been removed and now you can move the map around really, really easy. So here's how fast the map is. Right now we're in New Market. I'm gonna scroll down to uh, the Toronto area, right down into the beaches and there's the listings just like that. How cool is that? I love it. I love it. Okay, uh, the app, use it. It is outstanding. I love being there at a listing present or sorry, at, at a showing or even at a listing presentation and you don't have all that information up here in your noggin, open up the app and go through it with your clients if you want. Uh, use the information to, to educate yourselves. It also has... Uh, um, it, it also has all that information from the stats. So all of that information is on there too. So don't fret that you're missing out from the stats. If you're the stat person, uh, it's on the app as well. Uh, something that we didn't look at, I'll show you on here is if I click the little chat button at the bottom, I can open up any of my chats and all the chat between you and your client or other realtors will actually remain in here. Uh, let me show you that quickly from a listing uh, perspective. I'm just gonna grab this listing here uh, on, on Westbrook and I can actually click that blue button at the very top, hit the chat button and enter uh, any client's name that I have or other realtor on the Toronto Real Estate Board. I'm just gonna hit Billy Buyer and now I can send them uh, this listing check it out and hit send and now the link to that listing got sent to billy buyer within the app and if he has notifications on and the app downloaded same app i should i should uh, know uh he can now view that app or that listing within the app so so there you have it my friends uh that you know our, our hours kind of up uh, but I love the chat, uh, feature. I love the app. I use the app daily. Uh, it's, it's probably top three app on my phone that, that I'm using. And again, if I ever want to go back out of this, I just hit the realm 
logo or the home button at the very top of the screen. I have all my recent searches there within the app. So for fun, I like keeping track of power of sale properties. I, I know I don't have them all in here, uh, but I, I just kind of keep them in there. If you want to see how to do that, I've got videos on that as well. But I keep I keep all sorts of stuff in there, uh, investment properties uh, in areas that I like to have. Uh, it has, oh, let me back out of there again. It has uh, say my save lists in the app. It has everything, just as I mentioned off the top. Uh, Terranet and and Realm want this platform to be mobile first. So that's why it's so fast on the app, which is outstanding and, and really, really beneficial. So, so there you have it. Okay. Now here's, here's what I have for you. There's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of information and we could spend hours uh, going deep on all of this information and, and we could. And in fact, that's what I've done. So for many of you that want more, I have more. And, and I, first of all, I appreciate you being online with me uh, this afternoon, especially during March break and, and that type of thing. So here's what I've come up with. And this is, this is really, really great. I've had people go through uh, my video course uh, that I put together. I've, I've highlighted a number of different things that we just talked about. And, and here's what I have for you. I have about 13, 12 or 13 different videos and I'm adding more as, as new things come out. Uh, it shows you how to navigate as we just did. Uh, it shows you how to, in detail, how to set up your profile. It shows a new feature called layouts, how to change the way that you want to view the properties. I love that feature. Uh, I go in very deep detail on how to search properties and save searches for your clients, save searches and list for yourselves and using the map layers and, and so forth. Of course, how to create a contact, how to message them and, and share listings on various different platforms, create lists for yourself. Uh, how to look up the stats. And we did that very, very quickly today. What I do in the video is, and, 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 and in the course is to go deep, I do a deep dive and how to use the stats and, and even a bonus stat feature here too, as well. Very deep on the mobile app. And I should mention to you, uh, the mobile app is also versatile. It's the same app as you would use on your iPad. So you have an iPad. Uh, it's awesome. I use it on my iPad as well. Uh, some bonus in material here, the land registry information. I show people how to use that. And there's a couple of extra things in there, like a Realm cheat sheet and a database script. So all I have all of this available. Uh, use it. I know a handful of people have already started using it, and uh, they've gotten tremendous amount of um, information from it, especially you can fast forward, rewind all of those specific, specific uh, mm -hmm. courses. And, and uh, each video runs about eight to 12 minutes. So we'll call it 10. How's that sound? Uh, 10 minutes, <clears throat> 10 minutes to learn. Uh, how to use it. And, and it's incredible. It's you, once you buy the course, you have it in perpetuity. And as new features will be launched within realm, uh, I will be providing those new features in new video segments, uh, within the platform as well. And I know one feature that is coming, uh, very, very soon, and that's the add edit feature. So that'll get added in there. And that's actually in beta, uh, right now. So that'll get added, uh, to the platform, to the course platform, incredibly soon. Soon. So this you can have, you can have access to it uh, as of uh, as of right today. Uh, it's $97 uh, for the course in perpetuity. And, and uh, as I said, I appreciate everyone jumping on. Uh, it's a lot to learn. And if you want to get access to that, uh, there's the website right underneath there. Uh, jump into that. You'll also, for everyone, uh, whether you're in the course or not, uh, take a picture of that. Uh, here's what we're also doing. We just created this brand new Facebook page. Uh, for Realm users, which is all of Toronto Real Estate Board. Uh, and and uh, so join that website, sorry, join that Facebook page there as well, whether or not you're jumping into the course. But I highly do recommend uh, the course. It just slows it down. Uh, you can follow along and, and create. See, here's my goal for you is that you become incredibly confident uh, using the platform because we know what happens. You get asked a question and you need to find that answer and the client standing there in front of you. How awesome would it be to say, Hey, yeah, give me one sec. I'll 
fire it, find it in the app, get that information off to your client or say, listen, just give me five minutes. I need, need five minutes and I'll call you right back and you can get that, all that information, all that type of resources, uh, is, is within the app. So if you have questions, uh, reach out to me, please reach out to me. Uh, I'm always happy to answer any questions. And, uh, of course, uh, the, the, just take a picture, download the app or download the course. Uh, you'll have access to it. You can actually watch it on your phone or or on uh, on your desktop, your laptop, what have you. And uh, it's been my pleasure to spend uh, the last hour with you. And I look forward to connecting with you. My friends, all the best. If you have any questions about Realm, you know how to send the questions to me. Send me an email or a text. I'm happy to answer them. And uh, we'll see everybody real soon. Uh, bye for now.